Hi guys, welcome to Adam Matt Collar TV. I'm Adam. Hope you guys are all doing well. News just in tonight are that FIFA is investigating the transfer involving Paul Pogba to Manchester United. So, FIFA are investigating the transfer of Paul Pogba to Manchester United from Juventus. Now, what we do know today, um, this comes after football leaks. Now, if you guys are aware of football leaks, they often leak people's contracts. They often leak people's official transfer deals. They leak quite a lot of things. It's like the football version of WikiLeaks, except they're not leaking political stuff. They're leaking stuff around football, contracts, things like that, etc. Now, Manchester United bought Paul Pogba for a world record fee, £89 million. Pounds. And today, we found out that 40 odd million of that fee went to Mino Raiola. Now, we kind of knew similar earlier in the summer. Um, we thought that £89 million pounds had been paid for him. I remember the club were arguing about who pays for, um, the, who pays the agent, who pays the agent. United weren't sure whether it was them. Juventus, was it them? And um, apparently, Mino Raiola was paid £41 million. Pounds. I'm just looking for the full details, so here it is. Um, Mino Raiola, £41 million pounds of the £89 million pounds went to him. Um, that, that is... Fucking crazy. Oh my God. So, let me read what Mino Raiola got. £41 million for the world record £89 million deal, which took Pogba to Old Trafford last summer, um, including a near £23 million cut of the transfer fee and five instalments totaling £16.39 million, million. Now, obviously... Um, at the moment, Sky Sports are reporting this investigation as they're not sure who they're investigating, what part of the transfer they are investigating. Is it the agent's fee? Is it the transfer fee? What is it? Now, as far as I'm aware, if Juventus have paid Mino Raiola, then Manchester United have nothing to do with it. And I've read that elsewhere as well. But until we know how much, um, what they're exactly investigating... We won't know who's who's to blame, if you get what I'm saying. John, thanks for joining us in the comments. It says, agents are ruining football. Now, we all know the, the money in football at the moment is absolutely incredible. And I totally understand why that is. Football is the biggest, most commercial sport going in the world. But what I can't get my head around is £41 million to an agent. Now, this isn't to a football club who may spend that on an academy, who may spend that on other players. So the money stays in the game. This money is going out of the game. It's going out of the football clubs. It's going out of the academies, out of all of that. And it's going into the pockets of one man or one company or one agency, however it is. And to think £41 million is going to him. Now, obviously, I don't care because £89 million is what we paid and then we pay Pogba. We're not paying any more than that £89 million. Pounds. Um, but it's still crazy, man. It's still absolutely crazy. £41 million. Like McCruddy Star says, how does an agent even get that much money? £41 million. Pounds. Now, for us, United, when I think about it, I think, you know, when I think about our wages and transfer fees, I think, you know what? The Glazers have taken so much money out of this club. I don't really care. But, when you think about other circumstances and you think, all right, £41 million pounds to an agent, and then you look at some of the other clubs around, and you look at Leighton Orient potentially going out of business, and you think, that's absolutely crazy. For £41 million pounds to be going out of, out of the game, ridiculous. FIFA are investigating. Now, we're not clear whether it's Man United, Juventus, Raiola, Pogba, but I'm speculating here. It seems to me that it will be Juventus and Raiola getting investigated. Whoever made that payment to Raiola will be investigating. Now, Ryan Hill says United paid the £48 million, um, But I'm not too sure about that. As far as I was aware, in the summer, United paid £89 million And Juventus had to take care of the agency fee. But if I'm wrong on that, I'm happy to be proven wrong. Um, but yeah, 
£41 million. Rayola must have made a bomb from us last season because Mkhitaryan was also his player. Um, and we've signed a few other players of his in the past as well. But £41 million to Rayola. That's absolutely incredible. Incredible stuff. Guys, thank you for joining us here on Adam McCola TV today, by the way, as well. We've got over 270 people in here. We're closing in on that 300 mark. If we get around 350, it's a world record for Adam McCola TV anyway. But, yeah, this is the news at the moment. FIFA are investigating the transfer of Manchester United's Paul Pogba. Um, £89 million pounds it was. Um, now, obviously, everybody online, on social media, are jumping to the, um, jumping to the, the assumption that Manchester United are being investigated but the way I've seen it and what I've read online, it seems it's more likely to be Juventus, although it hasn't been confirmed yet. So this is unconfirmed, but the transfer is definitely being investigated. I just hope United aren't coming into the firing line. I hope none of our other deals are then investigated because that's not what you need. I know it's all off the pitch stuff, but can you imagine us getting a can you imagine us getting a transfer ban? A summer window or two summer windows? We'd be fucked. Because this is the time where Jose Mourinho needs to make this team his own. Jose Mourinho needs to bring in players, sell players. If we had a ban and we were stuck with this squad, we'd be absolutely fucked. It may be great for the youngsters, but we'd be fucked. So we've got to hope that we don't come into, um, into, a, into the firing line. And I hope it's not that case. And from what I've read, it seems that Mino Raiola, Juventus' payment to Mino Raiola will be investigated. But, but... You never know what to expect and FIFA are... In... Isn't it hilarious, by the way, guys? Isn't it hilarious, yeah? That FIFA are investigating corruption. Isn't that hilarious? Isn't, isn't that hilarious? Fucking hell. It's like Jimmy Savile investigating paedophiles. It don't make sense. FIFA are corrupt as fuck and they're investigating corruption. How does that make sense? It doesn't. It doesn't make any sense. Um, Adam for Wigan... I don't mind that. I'll send my CV in. I did great on Football Manager. Uh, <laughs> I'm pretty sure that we have to do things the right way. This is Paras. You'd like to think so, wouldn't you? Um, but that's true, John. Any ban wouldn't kick in straight away. But I'm hoping we miss out on any punishments because, uh, yeah, man, it's it's <laughs> it's bizarre fee for investigating corruption. But at the same time. Um, it's about time it did happen. Some of the money going to agents in the game is ridiculous. And like they did with Rio and the drugs ban thing, they kind of made Rio a, um, a example. Give him eight, eight months for something, yeah. He, they gave Rio eight months. This was the FA. Eight months banned for missing a test when a City Academy player had done the same and got a £1,000 fine. So... Can you imagine what FIFA would do to Manchester United if we did anything wrong? It'd be, oh my God, they would make the biggest example out of us ever. I don't want to see that happen at all. Um, but as someone else has mentioned as well, it's Juventus and uh, Rayola that are being investigated. We're two away from 300. We're, we're now over 300, guys. So thank you all for joining us today. Uh, make sure you subscribe, like and share as well. Get involved in all the debate. And um, What are you making of this this current, um, this current uh, situation with the FIFA investigation and all that. Um, it'd be very, very interesting. So, yeah, guys, get your comments in the comments below. I'm going to go and get my laptop so we can just check a few things out. Let's see if anything else is breaking at the moment in regards to this news. My cousin's in the comments as well. Um, how you doing, John? Hope you're doing well. Now, if you've watched... If you've watched the, um, if you've watched, if you watched my, my, uh, Joshua Klitschko vlog, then you would have seen my cousin was in it. He was the one that jumped on my back. Um, I'm going to the game on Thursday, says Sam. Nice to see that, mate. Uh, Bradley, how are you doing? Um, sort it out, Adam lad. Arif, how you doing? Thank you for getting involved, mate. Do you do I think Rayola is a smart agent? Says Sam. Um, if you can make forty-one million pounds out of a transfer, yeah, you're a smart motherfucker, man. <laughs> you are smart. You are smart. Um, Arif, the answer to your question is no. <laughs> 
Have I seen the new Man United kit, says Manny. I've seen the picture. Um, I've seen the picture that Full Time Devils tweeted, the, the rumoured one. I'm not very sure if that is the actual thing. But, um, yeah, that's the one I have seen. So, yeah, guys, at the moment... Yes! Fucking hell, that was pissing me right off. Right, that was doing my absolute head in. I was sitting there for ages trying to sort it out. Um, I wasn't sure what was going on, um, but basically the stream absolutely died down. Um, I'm back now though. I am back with a bang, back with a bang. Um, apologies about all of that. Um, you guys, I know I've lost a lot of you now, um, so I do apologize about that, but uh, I'm back again. What happened was, um, Wirecast crashed, and then as I turned my phone back on to reboot Wirecast, um, then it started updating all my apps. So it was updating Facebook and this and that. What are you doing, man? Um, so yeah, I'm back now. I do apologize about that, um, but we're back and we're back. I'm not on Talk Talk. I promise, Ahmed, I am not on Talk Talk. One heart for mental health awareness week says somebody, um, MUFC 20 times said that. Um, yes, mental health awareness week. Um, I've had a few friends that have suffered from it. Um, I've had not mental health issues, but I've doubted myself a few times. I thought I've been stressed out a few times. Everyone feels some sort of stress. And then obviously other people have mental health issues that are deeper than stress. And um, yeah, man, I hope everybody just talks to people if you need to. I've had pe I've had friends that have unfortunately committed suicide, and uh, it's it's mad. So just always ask someone if they're okay. It's dudes that don't do it much that don't say, "Oh, you're all right, mate," or "You're all right, bro. How you doing?" and all that. And um, yeah, man, sometimes just phone your boy and say, "How you doing? Are you okay? Things good." Um, anyway, moving on from that. Um, I'm back now, and uh, one of my mates just texted me saying, what's going on with the stream? I had you on my TV and my phone. I don't know why he had me on his TV and his phone, but the stream went down for him as well. Um, so, yeah. Um, I hope you're watching now, Ammon, if you're there. Uh, what happened to Pogba? Okay, so let's get back into the main news. Um, Manchester United and Juventus' transfer deal for Pogba has been investigated by FIFA. Now this has been confirmed and this comes after football leaks had leaked news that Mino Raiola had received £41 million, £41 million pounds in, um, in <laughs> an agent's fee. 41 mil in an agent's fee. Remember the transfer was £89 million. So that means Mino Raiola received as much, well, almost as much as Juventus. Now, it's not clear what part of the transfer this investigation is in regards to. Is it in regards to the transfer fee? Is it in regards to United, how they acted? Is it in regards to Juve? Is it in regards to Raiola? Is it in regards to the payment from Juve to Raiola? Because it was Juventus that paid the agent. Now, it's crazy for me. Obviously, the money in the game is up here. We know the money in the game is crazy. Um, and I only expect it to get worse. It's not going to be long until we see an £100 million player, a £200 million player. It's going to happen and it's just going to keep snowballing. But what I can't get my head around is an agent getting £41 million and then that money going out of the game. It's not staying in football. It's not going into youth academies, clubs, transfers. It's not going into any of that. It's going into random, normal guys you know, Mino Raiola's new apartment, Mino Raiola's new Ferrari. And, of course, I understand the importance of agents in the game. You need agents. Some players need agents, so clubs won't take the piss with them. Clubs won't shortchange them. Clubs give them the right deals. Clubs give them what they deserve. I understand the needs for agents and representation of football players. I'm not saying agents aren't needed in the game, because they are needed in the game. They, they, footballers do need agents, but 
this 41 million pounds of an 89 million pound deal that to me is bonkers and that 41 million is going out of the game so if that is what FIFA are investigating um which is the football league stuff and the money that's gone to Raiola then in my opinion and from what I know of the case then United are in the clear because United didn't make that payment to Mino Raiola but the official line is it's not been revealed what they are investigating yet whether it's United, whether it's Rayola, whether it's Juve, then it's not been revealed yet. But in my mind, United should be okay. Hopefully, nothing comes to us. Hopefully, um, nothing comes back to United and we don't end up getting a transfer ban or anything like that. Um, so, yeah. But as far as I'm aware, it's Juventus and Rayola that are being investigated. And maybe the conflict of interest between Rayola, Juventus, Manchester United. Like, who was Rayola representing? The player, the clubs, who was he representing? So, there's so much that FIFA can investigate here. But I hope United haven't done anything untoward. What makes me laugh is FIFA, one of the most corrupt bodies in this on this planet, never mind football, investigating corruption. Imagine that. FIFA investigating corruption. That's irony for you, that is. That is irony. Like I said before, it's like Jimmy Savile investigating paedophiles. It don't make sense. It don't make sense. How are the corrupt going to investigate the corrupt? Are FIFA just upset that they didn't get a slice of the money? Did FIFA want some of the peas? Is that what it is? You missed out on some of that money, huh? You wanted a slice of Mino Raiola's pie. He's a big man. You don't want to be taking his pie. Um, but yeah, Mino Raiola. You know what would be hilarious? If Mino had to give us our 41 million back and um, we got part <laughs> for 48... <laughs> It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. And I just pray United stay out of the firing line of FIFA. We've seen in the past what FA did with... Um, we've seen in the past what the FA did with um, Rio in terms of his drug test, missing a drug test and the way he was given... Yeah, Dion. It's like John Terry investigating racists. It don't make no goddamn sense. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, FIFA obviously wants a bribe. Um, John says, so you pay 48 mil for Pogba? Pretty much. Well, Juventus received 48 mil for Pogba. 40, 89 mil still came out of our pocket in the deal. So I suppose we paid 89 million. But Juve only got 48. Considering though they got him for like 500, 600 grand. It's not surprising. Um, and I wouldn't have been surprised if when Rayola forced... Well, not forced, but made Pogba leave Manchester United and join Juventus... I'm pretty sure part of that deal was, look how cheap you've got Pogba. When you sell him, I want a piece of that deal. So, you know, I, I, I understand that. Agents are toxic for football, says Amaroof Assassins. Uh, <laughs> Italic Gaming says he's already spent 40 mil on a lifetime supply of Pogba pies. Like Terry investigating affairs. Or Ryan Giggs, I suppose. Um, but yeah. Guys, that's what's going down at the moment. Um, FIFA are investigating the transfer deal between Manchester United, Juventus and uh, Mino Raiola for bringing Pogba to United. At the moment, as I understand it, United aren't part of that investigation. It's it's FIFA that are investigating Juventus' payment to the agent of £41 million. Football leagues, check that out if you want to see all of that. But I hope... When it does come clear that United aren't in the in the, in the firing line, I doubt there will be a transfer ban for Manchester United. But I have been wrong in the past. But as f right now, I'm calm about the whole situation. I am calm about the whole situation. Anyway, we'll finish off with answering some of your questions, and then I'm going to get out of here. Whether it's questions on the FIFA investigation or whatever, get your comments in. George said he missed me on FIFA to uh, on fee full time devils today. Am I on next week? I'm on this week. I'm on this week. Um, on Friday, I think we've got the preview for the game against Spurs. Nearly at that 350, says Bradley. You're right, mate. We're 20 away from a record live stream here on Adam McCola TV. Can we make it before I get off? Can we make it before I get off? We want Harson, says Cows. Shall I phone Harson? Shall I phone Harson? Shall I video call Harson? Where is he? There he is. Let's video call Stephen Allison. We'll get his opinion on all this shit. Right. It's ringing. It's ringing. 
Yo! I'm, I'm doing a live stream, the people want to hear from you. What about what's going on with Pogba? Yeah, this is what my live stream's about, so how you feeling? Uh, well, I'm just trying to find out a little bit more information, and, and uh, there's an agent that I chat to on a pretty regular basis, and I just messaged him saying how fucked is Raiola. And he seems to think that he hired a, a lawyer to do the deals in his name or some shit, so I think there's a lot more information that come out of this, and I reckon tomorrow's broadsheets are probably going to be a good place to find out all the information you need. Is it, on the back, is it on the back of the foot, Football Leagues thing, isn't it? Yes, it's Football Leagues that have, um, have released this, and I can't believe, because I thought like it was kind of common knowledge how much Raiola had made from this deal, and as in it was like shitloads. So I can't believe that people didn't already know Raiola was working for United and Pogba. Like, are United United in the firing line, are they? No, Raiola's in the firing line. Yes, that's what we like to hear. So yeah, United, I think Juventus might be in the firing line as well, potentially, but United and Pogba... Uh, Any chance of us getting our 40 mil back? I wouldn't have thought so. Uh, do you know what? There's so many dark comments, aren't there, from people like, oh, are you investigating how it was 89 million? Have a night off. Right, Harrison, um, how are you anyway? Superb, my mate. I've just come from an under 15s game at the Carrington, um, where they might as well have been playing. Um, I've just had a message from that agent that I know he just said legally everything's fine as far as he's aware, so maybe no one's in the shit. Legally. Uh, yeah, just come back from Carrington and uh, watching under 15s. A couple of young lads there tearing it up, so. Uh, also, we. we on my live stream today, we likened FIFA investigating corruption to Jimmy Savile investigating paedophiles, to John Terry investigating racism. Have you got one to throw in the mix? Game mechanic investigating child neglect. <laughs> <laughs> For you guys that didn't hear that, he said, Kate McCann investigating child neglect. On that note, Steve, thank you. Subscribe to Stephen Allison, FC. We're out of here. Well, I'm not out of here. That's Stephen Allison anyway. He's added in the mix. FIFA investigating corruption is like Jimmy Savile investigating paedophilia and Stephen Allison has said Kate McGann investigating child <laughs> neglect. That's why I love that guy. Right then, guys. It's been a great stream today. Thank you all. Like Bush investigating 9-11, says Joe. Um, it's been a great stream today. So... Will you guys um, subscribe to Adam McConnor TV, subscribe to Stephen Allison FC and subscribe to Full Time Devils as well. Like, comment and share. How do you feel about all of this? John says, Alex loves my FIFA career modes. Now, if you guys don't know, Alex is Juan Mata's best mate. He's done a fan cam with us before in the past as well. And now that John's told me, Alex watches my FIFA videos, I'm gonna have to cut out all the swearing, aren't I? And I'm going to have to score a few more goals for him as well. Bloody hell. Anyway, on that note, guys, I'm um, sorry if I let you down. And I'm sorry if you're watching my videos and your parents are there. And I'm swearing my head off. And uh, your parents tell you to turn that crap off. I do apologise for that. But anyway, guys, Alex, John, Abidur, Demos, Ahmed, Dimitri, Master, Dion, um, Al Doctor. Thank you all for joining us in the comments today. Thank you all for getting involved in the live stream. For now though, guys, I'm Adam McCola. I'm out of here.